<laughs> Look at that. Pod. What? That looks so good. Sideways rain. <laughs> rain that comes right from the bottom back up at you. And it does. Mum and I are in the city to go get my Thai ID renewal. I don't, I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, it's only 9 a.m., but there's just so many people here. And usually when you get things like that renewed, it takes like all day. So we tried to come as early as we could, but we're just, we're just gonna go check it out and see if it's too, too many people and it's gonna take a long time. We'll probably just come like the next day. did that take <laughs> it didn't even take that long so I had to go get a new Thai ID because mine was so old it's over like I don't know 12 years or 10 years the picture doesn't even look like me every time I go and use it they look at me weird <laughs> so so I had to go get a new one <laughs> um, so we'll probably go and get some breakfast now are you hungry now? Yeah, me too. I'm starving. Um, but yeah, we'll see you at the restaurant. I just looked at my Thai ID and it's good for like 10 years. <laughs> so yeah, mine was, pre was pretty much like 10 years, mom, because it expires like next year. So um, we're probably going to go get papaya salad because can always have papaya salad you guys it's er it's not that early for it's not too early for papaya salad is it mom <laughs> yeah it's 10 30 now so I think we're in there one hour oh, yeah we were there for like one hour because we got there at nine oh well, hour and a half yeah nine yeah 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 not bad not bad considering how many people was there they were pretty like fast and efficient More organized. Yeah, really organized they have like four or five windows to do different things so that's pretty cool there it is fried fish Mom. <laughs> So this is grilled, uh, salted grilled fish. Is this a tilapia? Huh? Still hot, yeah. This is um, actually tilapia, right, mom? Yeah. Tilapia, and this is the dipping sauce right here. It's got eggs, got peanuts, got chili, of course, Ooh. cilantro. Ooh, let's see. Nice and hot still. And um, vermicelli noodles and lots of vegetables. The good thing with this fish is the bone is pretty big, so. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, so really hot. Oh, that's how you're supposed to eat it. So you kind of make it like just a wrap. Like that. Dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good.
go back and get my camera. No. Hey. <laughs> wow, it's raining so hard. Uh, she said we can move either this room or that room. You might, you might be better to uh, do it before I go so I can help you. Yeah. So this is how you cut a durian, you guys. So each pod, your favorite ice cream I see. Each pod is where the the durian meat is. So you just gotta cut it deep enough so you can get the pod. Get the pod to like open. Mm. Be careful because out. The one the durian sharp. Yeah, for very two. sharp. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll. Okay. You want me to go out? Mm. Maybe I gotta cut it more. I gotta cut it more. Okay. I can hold it while you cut it. Oh, there, there, there. Ooh. This <laughs> is. Wow. Look at that. Pod. What? That looks so good. Look at that one. And that's why they cut it like this, so it keeps all the pods fresh. Yeah. yeah. Um, as soon as air gets into it, it won't be fresh for very long, or it goes bad like really quickly. Yeah. So we're staying in a hotel or like, yeah, like a resort hotel right by my grandpa's place. And so we don't really have <laughs> proper like, you know, cutleries. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just, um. So why don't I hold it? Like this, and then I hold it on either side, so you don't have to get get your hand over there. Well, I can't just do this. I oh. need a. Okay, I was worried about you're gonna cut yourself. Wow. Oh man. Oh. It's it's pretty ripe. This is like your kind of ripeness. That's, I well, like, that's what my oh when I was pulling it out. I, I like it a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more, um, a little harder. Mmm. Pudding. Mmm. Yeah. Definitely pudding. That's good. It's so good though. Mmm. And you guys, you can probably see in here that it's like <laughs> raining cats and dogs. My mom just dropped me off and running from the car to here, it's probably like, I don't know, like 20 steps. Soaked. Soaked. Yeah. Soaked. My mom's like, I have an umbrella in the back. Do you want um, an umbrella? And I'm like, no, it's just another thing for me to carry. So I'll just run. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, even with an umbrella, you still get wet because it rains so much that it's almost like, it's like the movie Forrest Gump when they're like, it's got sideways rain, <laughs> rain that comes right from the bottom back up at you. And it does. It hits the ground and it comes right back. Yeah, I'm wearing shorts and my legs were like soaked. So, yeah. It's like, man. Mm. This, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. As much as it's really ripe, it's really good. Mmm. Pudding durian. Mm. Yeah, this is like perfect. It's not too soft. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. This little nubbin was even softer. Really? Yeah. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the casual vlogs. <laughs> You know that's just the lifestyle here so I'm just blogging whatever I think is interesting or not really even like trying to be like oh today let's do this and this and this it's not even that it's just like whatever it is that we're doing for the day 
I just press record. You mm -hmm. know, there's no prep, there's no nothing. So it's as raw as it gets. <laughs> like that other day, it was like my cousin's idea, Dong's idea to, you know, to barbecue or, um, what's that? Yeah, that's barbecue. Is it barbecue? Yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah. The chicken. It has like some special name. Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. So we were just like, you know, sitting there hanging out and he's like, hey, do you feel like um, barbecue chicken today? <laughs> you know? And I'm like, yeah, I do actually. And then like his friend, which is that house beside the road that we were barbecuing the, oh. the, the, the chicken at, it's his house and his chicken, because he has like, he has a fish pond, he has a chicken chicken um like coop coop yeah he raises chicken he even has turkey there wow yeah oh the, see you can kind of tell like how big the pot is gonna be like right there i can see the little the little hump there so do you want another one mm, i might have some mango oh, maybe okay, okay. after but i okay. think i'm good for the durian yeah if, if you don't if if you don't want to, I'm not gonna. Yeah, you don't know, open it. I'm not, I'm not gonna. You're gonna have more. I'm gonna have this little one here because I gave you mine. <laughs> I was wondering why you gave me more. No, orders. because like I, cause I'm gonna mm. be eating and then, you know. Okay. Yeah. So how do you find my grandpa's place versus like Bangkok and stuff? Uh, there's definite, well, it's just like anywhere. There's pluses and minuses to everything. Yeah. Like, there's definitely advantages over Bangkok, and there's definitely things that are more difficult. Yeah. Like, it's definitely a lot more, of course, as people see, a more simple life. Oh, um, yeah. With, uh, and, and there's just not as much access to things here, of course, as Bangkok, where Bangkok, you can literally get anything, any time of the day when it's yeah. not COVID. Yeah. Right? So, so but, things like that. Yeah, is, but I mean, here is still, like, if you know... If you know your way around, you know where to get places. Because a lot of places or businesses or restaurants here, they don't really advertise. So it's kind of, it's not like, oh, let's search the internet and... Well, like these, <laughs> when we were going there, I didn't know it was your mom's friend. Yeah. And it's like, how do you even know mm -hmm. there's restaurants back here? Mm -hmm. Because it's like, it's off a side, it's the highway, mm -hmm. side road, mm -hmm. side road, side road, long driveway. <laughs> like, I was like... Oh. And she's like, oh, it's my friend. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh. I didn't know that either. I was like, mm. And like, and the thing that was like, oh, you can bring the whole thing here. And the thing like, at the time when we, when we were going to go there, it was 7.30 mm -hmm. and they were closed. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and she picks up the phone. She's like, hey, are you closed? Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. Um. My mom's like, can you open up for us? I was like, mom, they're closed, yeah. you know? And she goes, no, it's okay, it's my friend. I was like, oh, <laughs> still. Still. <laughs> you know? But. They're probably, like, resting. But it's, like, it's so normal here because, like, during the day, they might not be very busy, busy or something. It's, it's fine. What was it? Just eat the one that's good. Okay. Um, you know, like, during the day, they might not be very busy and stuff, right? Mm hmm Or maybe if they are, like, you know... I don't know. Yeah. It's not like North America where it's like, when they're closed, they're closed. Mm. Yeah. I thought it was weird too. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, but it was good. So. And then like afterwards, when she said it was her friend's place, I was like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's so fresh that it's like rotten. I know. And like, if you, like... If you don't See, eat, I have to. Eat, I just have right to show right? it to her because I want it so bad <laughs> that if I she doesn't tell me it's bad, then I might try and eat it. Oh, that Aww. Bad. Okay, well that's one, two, three, four for four. And also, like, because of the sun too, right? Yep. Like they sit there. And Ex that's exactly what it is. It's not in a grocery store. Ooh, that's. It. Oh man. Yeah, it's sitting outside, in a cart. Yeah, in a cart. Yeah. So. Even though it's fresh, but like the sun. Yeah, the sun ripens it like that. Yeah. It's and not, yeah. And being off the tree. Yes. When when I say it's bad, it's like yeah, it's it's so hot here that the sun ruins it, right? Mm-hmm. That one's good. Come on.
Ooh, that's a good one. Finally. A good one. A good one. Good, huh? Mmm. And the thing with like eating fruit outside is we have to clean up really, really good. Otherwise, the ants will come and get you. Mm hmm. And ants here are on a whole other level. Rambutan. Rambutan. These are sweet. Are they? Mm-hmm. You want me to cut you open one? I'll just try some of yours. Oh, really? There's seeds in there. Hmm. Oh, I can have this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Rambutani. <laughs> For me, the big difference between here and Bangkok is mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. I've been, I, you know, obviously I've been wearing shorts, so yeah, my legs is full of mosquito bites. Yeah, full. And just the amount of bugs in general. Yeah. Like ants. Mm -hmm. Way more ants than Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Because obviously it's a city, so yeah, they're harder for them to, you know, here it's like the forest is literally right there, <laughs> so they just yeah, it's like man. Like when you walk here in the morning, yeah, the crickets and things like that, oh, it's almost like, that, is there something wrong with my hearing? Like I know, they're so loud too. That one was bad. That's why you gotta peel it the whole way first. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see, but rain here doesn't rain for that long. No. It pours and then it stops. Yeah. You just hopefully have to, like even when we order grab and stuff like that, the grab drivers wait at our condo for yeah. the rain to stop before yeah. they start driving again. Cause they're just like, mm -hmm. well, it's might be an okay one in there. Because it, it just, they know it's well, this is probably only gonna last for 10 or 15 minutes at the most, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Come on, guys. But I also like it here because it's not as humid as Bangkok. Yeah. Like, if you can actually feel the cool air in the morning, like when I go for a run and stuff, it's like it's a perfect weather to go running. Yeah. Like, it's so nice. And the smog, too. There's no smog. Yeah, and... there's no smog. Oh, this one's bad. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. At least it's it, at least it's like fresh air. Yeah, that's the big difference. Like like Bangkok, it's just like sure, it's just kind of like you know, it's like any giant city. Like it, For there's, sure. there's just so much. Yeah, mm. they're so much sweeter than yeah than anywhere else. Because they're right off the freaking tree. Yeah. Literally, right off someone's tree. Like, the hair here is still green. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, when you buy it in Canada, it started, it's either no hair or it's brown. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm okay. You eat. Oh, there's a lot there. Mm. Oh, and and these were three kilos for a hundred baht. Four dollars for three kilos of rambutan. Wow. Honestly, I don't know how much they are in Canada, but I'm sure they're a heck of a lot more. You get like, I don't know. A rambutan for a dollar? No, like. <laughs> Maybe like 15 Rambutan, maybe even 10, something like that. For how much? It's like 20 bucks. Wow. It's very expensive. Because they got to make that Or maybe journey. like 13 $14. That's pretty expensive. Yeah. It's 
So it's like two dollars a Rambutan. And then if you get ones that are bad, it's like well. Yeah. Same with Mangosteen. You just go in the corner and cry because. <laughs> yeah. You like buy it, you buy fifteen, you only get to eat ten. Or... Well, we bought so many Mangosteen like that in Canada, where it's like you open it, and it's just like ugh. Yeah. It's like man, I only have so many of these here. Mm -hmm. So. The comments where, how can you tell between red dragon fruit and white dragon fruit? If you look on the outside of of the dragon fruit, they have different like petals mm. or pleats or those, you know. Like, Looks like dragon scales. Yeah, yeah the, the, oh, the, 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 the dragon scales. Yeah. The white one has a very more sparse scale mm. and the red one is smaller and rounder and has more scales, mm, you gotcha. know, and less like, less, I can't even explain it. It's like, it's like, say the white one has 15 bigger petals that make up the scales. Yeah. The red one would have 25 so smaller, smaller scales. and closer one, yeah. almost kind of like a pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. You'd notice it if they're side by side. You I, would. I, I'm, I remember now. Yeah. Even just thinking about it and right? seeing them in the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. But, but but I think nowadays there are red ones that kind of almost look like the white ones. But I mean, when you go to the store, you can usually ask them, like what, or, or, or they usually or tell labeled, you, yeah. or they la they're labeled. But if you say you're at the market here and there is no label, you just ask the the mm -hmm. you know. The and if you don't speak Thai, you can Google into your phone a picture of something red and a picture of something white and be like, red? White. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. You gotta think outside the box. Yeah, for things where you don't speak the language, you gotta like try and, like when I try and do numbers and stuff like that, if it's a long one, I punch it into my calculator and show people. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, oh, this is it. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, they know right away. They're more happy to not have to try and explain it to you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's like, how am I going to try and explain this? Like, oh, yeah. it's the red one. Yeah. 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 Now, now I got to make sure I get all the juices out of this table. Yeah. And I mean, if down. there is, if there is ants later on this table, I'll, I'll show you guys. <laughs> They'll make a little trail right until, forward. until it's like gone. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably have to get a bucket of water and just kind of wash everything down to make sure there's no ants here after. I want to have the last clap. Why? No, oh, hey! <laughs> Why? Hey, stop it! <laughs> okay, you so. can have the last one. Do one more. Just kidding. <laughs> really?